everyone. Uh, today's going to be another busy day for us. We have uh, about a dozen lawns. Uh, several of them are quite large lawns and some of them are spread out. So let's get started. Okay, we haven't done much recording this morning just because we haven't done much recording. We've been moving along pretty decent. And we've been seeing a trend going on, I'm sure everybody else has, with uh, work ethic and integrity of your job. We're a little more critical of the lawn care business, or the, of the lawn care people, because this is the industry industry that we're in. You know, going by people's work and just recently, commercial property again, and uh, clippings all over the sidewalks, nothing blown out. So we don't do that, and I'm sure 95% of everybody else watching doesn't do that. It's just that some people do that because they're just in it for the money and they don't care what it looks like. And then uh, we're noticing the postal service that envelopes are coming in to us that are all clipped. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you get UPS packages where the product is outside the box. Yeah. They just throw it in the, in the box and they ship it and they don't put it in the packages. Um, you go to the grocery store and you're not supposed to have outdated food on the shelves and they don't rotate their grocery like they should. I mean, they're just, it's like an I don't care world. This is how I'm doing it and this is what, how it's going to be. Yeah. And, you know, when we were growing up, we weren't taught that way. We were taught, you know, you go out, you do a good job and that's how you're supposed to do things. Yeah. Not yeah, like that's, that anymore. Well, we don't have them. So we uh, stopped at the post office box this morning because I had to drop off a sign to be mailed out and uh, picked up our mail and and some viewer mail, which we're going to open up a package uh, a little bit later on. But um, we got a check that is three quarters of the way there, along with the envelope, the envelope that's three quarters way there, just chewed right up. So. so now we got to go back to the customer because the check is not, you can't cash it. So we have to go back to the customer and say, hey, can you give us a new check? Yeah. And it's kind of a nuisance. It's a nuisance for us and it's a nuisance for the customer. Because the customer doesn't really appreciate probably the fact that the postal service messed their check all up. Yeah. So it's... You know, I, I know it gets caught in their machines and that happens, but it's like it's happening more and more all the time. Mistakes like that. Yeah. That's why we had everything switched over to a post office box because uh, things were in and outside of our mailbox at home. So we just eliminated all that. You know, we still have bills come to our box because we don't care about that part, but um, customers mail and that we're sending out and they're sending us stuff. We'd like to see it get to us in one piece as much as possible. So we have uh, about half our yard done today, half our yards. Yeah. No, not quite. Not quite. We'll get through it today. It's only supposed to be in the mid 70s today, so it's not too bad. But today we also have to go different places because I am not going to be able to make the loop this weekend because I can't lift all this stuff with this stupid shoulder yet. So uh, we're traveling extra spots or extra farther, I guess, with the trailer and everything. Okay, now we're heading off to our farthest one away. We normally do this next one in a pickup with a push mower, but since I can't load anything up uh, in the back of the truck with a push mower, whatever that is, because my shoulder's all messed up, we gotta drive it with uh, pulling a trailer and everything. But, uh, this is supposed to be our last day of hazy sunshine that we've been. And we don't have uh, rain clouds or whatever you call it, it's uh, clouds of smoke coming from Canada. That's There's wildfires. So it's given us hazy sunshine yesterday and today, and a smell of smoke everywhere. So it should clear up hopefully tomorrow, I said, and then we won't have to smell all that. But we have uh, our favorite customers are calling us. The mailman forgot and picked up their check, so she's a uh, lady called and let us know that it's going to be a few days later than normal. Because, uh, we, you know, we were talking about mail postal service this morning earlier, but... Here's another example of the postal service. They will not pick up her mail unless they have mail, mail to deliver. 
no, it will not that, walk to her mailbox. Yeah, so it's kind of wrong. You know, they should be given, they should be stopping at her mailbag box every day. Yeah, she whether has to, she has mail or not. Yeah, she has to leave the letter hanging halfway out the mailbox so the mailman can see it, otherwise he will not stop. So, it's just the way it works. Not so she's all it. worried. She's all wanting to make sure that we, you know, she's been trying to get her, get us our payment to us. all done. It's 80 whatever degrees it is out here. 90 with the humidity. 90 humid, yeah. 
And uh, I'm weight whacking everything and without that shoulder strap because I think it's just in my way. And uh, we'll just make that work. I know it's going to hurt, but I'm going to have to go through some sort of a rehab anyhow. So I was to do it on the end of a weed whacker. Vicky's doctor herself out because uh, deer flies are horrendous right now. Yeah, because when I get bit by them things, they, like, they just her whole arm swells up like it's like going a right size, now. Size like a baseball, and then it bruises. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little bit of difficulties here and a little bit of time here, a little bit of time here. Well, that's what happens in the summertime. You get the heat. Yeah, and the bugs don't bug you until until it gets hot. Yeah, so now we're. Uh, just gonna battle through that just like everything else we do in the summertime yeah there's a lot of fighting with everything but you gotta take it the good with the bad I guess so this past winter when we had the vortex cold or whatever they called it we're always coming up with something different for the weather I guess yeah well the vortex cold was gonna kill off the deer flies well guess what they didn't kill them off they're still here yeah it, it, nothing happened like they said it was gonna like which that always happens but. So we have, what, three lawns to do yet? Uh, two. Two lawns? Three. Three lawns. And uh, Vicky's going to help me as long as she can, and I have to drop her off because she's got to babysit tonight. And then I'll have to go finish up one by myself if we don't get it done in time. But we'll see what happens. So today's question of the day with Vicky is kind of a two-part thing. I'll give you a story, a scenario, and then Vicki will answer the question. Or I'll ask the question. Or ask the question, yes. The scenario is there's two dealerships in our area that sell lawnmowers and uh, that are close to by us. Now, we don't deal with these dealerships, so we deal with other dealerships. And neither one of these dealerships cut their own grass. They have a lawn care company to take care of them using different brand mowers then they sell. So Vicky's question is, would you do business with these dealerships? Leave us an answer at the bottom of the question box. Question, question box. box. Yeah. yeah. So we have uh, one small lawn left and uh, right now we're going to do some uh, open some viewer mail. Who is this from? Um, his name is Kevin Lander. He's from, he's from Nebraska. Oh, there you go. So, we don't get too much viewer mail. And he sent us a package, which he's emailed me and said he was going to be sending me a package. So, and these are... Uh, An instant cooling towel. We each get one. Yes. So, so, we've never tried them before, so we'll get to see what those are all about. And we will try these out. Does it say what you're supposed to do? I think you're supposed to get them wet. I'm not positive on that, but we'll have to read the directions. And yeah, I'm sure you get them wet and maybe put them in the in the freezer or something. I don't, I don't know. know. I think we'll you have just, to check it out. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kevin. Appreciate it. Uh, and if you anybody wanted to send us something, there's a, a mailing address in the description box. You send us whatever you'd like to send us. Or not send us anything else. It doesn't matter either way. So, Anyhow, uh, that's going to be the end of our video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. And check out the links in the description box below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Have a good evening. Watch us mow in the next lawn. See you next time. Goodbye. Peace. Are you done? Yes. Okay. <laughs>